Good morning, Sean Morales, Crosswinds Guide Service. This morning I'm going to do a little bait catching demonstration. I'm going to start, as a matter of fact, I'll start from the beginning. One of the most important things is some sort of tub, what I call a purge bucket. You fill your tub up with lake water. Shad release a lot of ammonia in their waste. Um, and what you'll do is you'll dump them from the net into there so they can let go of all that waste. After five, ten minutes of that, you can really notice the water starts getting cloudy and, and, and nasty in there. Then you can take them from there, put them in your tank so that they don't do that in your tank. Also, it gives you a, a good opportunity to pick through the baits and pitch the ones you want, things like crappie or or sunfish that you don't want in there, um, big shad, small shad, you can actually sort through them before you put them in your tank. Also, I like to keep count as I put them in the tank. I see people all the time when the bait starts getting good, they start loading the tank up. Before you know it, their bait's dying because they have too many. This morning I've got four fishermen. I'm gonna go for 200 baits. Um, I've, I've never ran out with four guys and 200 baits. Before we got a limit anyway. Right now I've got a seven foot net. This is not a heavy net. It's a seven footer. One pound per foot, which is lighter than I normally use, but this particular lake, the bait is normally 10 foot deep or less. Also the water is very muddy. They don't see the net coming like they do in the, the clear lakes. Right now we're going to start with the load. You'll notice one hand has the line coiled up on it. I'm going to grab the horn in the same hand. Choke it halfway. I usually go hand over hand, just like that. Let this hand go. This is what we call harping the net. And it works best for me just to harp about half of it. And once you harp it, it's best to pull it, look, make sure there's no tangles. I'll then slide this hand up, fist up, thumb up. I'll roll this over that fist. Now that's the part that confuses most people. Now you're holding the net with one hand. Lead line. This outside weight right here, I will grab and I'll hook it right there on my thumb. Now, other than grabbing this right here, I'm ready to throw. Left. Sweet. Nice open circle. Now I'm gonna go try to find some bait and do that again. I'm gonna pull the camera out of the case. I'm gonna show you the sonar, along with my mess of junk I have. Right there's decent amounts of shad. Look like to be medium sized. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera back on the case. You can see I'm already choked. I'm the heart. Roll, thumb, and all I'm doing here is holding the back of the net open. And when I throw, I actually just let it pull it out of my fingertips. And as you'll see, see already? As I'm pulling up, coil in the line. which just keeps me from having to do that when it's time to throw. Even the braille lines coil. Looks like a mixture of uh, some crappie, some shad. Again, the importance, since the crappie are illegal, we won't put those in the tank, there's the importance of your purge bucket. 
pinching the braille lines here to keep the bait from coming out the bottom. I'm going to get over the purge. Here, I'm already halfway. I'm choking. To get your bait out, you just harp and it falls out as you're harping. Now, ready to throw again. Make me a nice little throw. Everything with a purpose. Shake the little bottom. Go ahead and grab the horn because that's one of my steps. Here I'll choke the braille line to keep them in the net. There we go. Now on video, you've seen me probably put 120, 100 ish in the tank. Um, now you got to think, okay, I got 100 baits in there. It's been 10 to 15 minutes. I need to start getting them out before they start getting weak or sickly. Um, basically, they can poison themselves in that nasty purge water. So I'll we'll run it, run the net of bait through the lake water to clean even more of the slime off of them before I put them in the tank. Now, I'm not handling them, not touching them. I'm just counting them as they flop in. Again, there's a crappie. We don't want to be illegal. Throw him out. One hundred. And every now and then a crappie will accidentally get in there. They don't like it in that salty water. It takes them a while to adjust so they float to the top. And I can throw them out. Thanks for following Crosswinds Guide Service. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to hit me up anytime at crosswindsguideservice.com. You can hit my Crosswinds Guide Service Facebook page. Any questions, comments, want to go fishing, give me a bus.